Hey guys, Roger Burnley, vocal coach here in Hollywood, California. I am going to give you three tips, three exercises that you can use every day to develop an amazing voice. And I'm going to give you the Roger Burnley application to these exercises because some of these you might have done before, but you might have done them in a little bit of a different way. But I'm going to give you something that I feel is much more effective because it gets the results that we want. The first one is a lip trill, which you probably have done or seen many, many people do. Now, understand when I'm saying lip trill, I am not saying lip bubble because you, I see this all the time. I've seen so many people, on, even on TV, doing this, and I don't want you to do it. And it's this. Now, for some people, I might have them do that, depending on what their voice has been doing, you know, that I might need to correct. But for most people, no, I don't want you to do that, because what starts to happen is you will start to inadvertently, you won't know that you're doing it, but you start to cut yourself off because you're stopping your air and you're falling back in your throat as you're going higher, and then you start to push. This is why you're having vocal trouble, is because you're blocking things and you're starting to push. So I'm gonna give you this and I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm starting in what I call a clean way, not taking a breath on that first note. I know that's crazy, but it works. Not taking a breath on the first note and then thinking down even though I'm hearing the notes go up. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit so you can hear it. You may need to push up here so you can find a clean starting place. That's what I'm doing there. Now, I'm going to give you something else with this one because it'll make a big difference. You're not going to do this all at once. So just, um, so this is actually a little fourth tip for you. But anyway, take this one and I want you to really now hear the lower notes. And this is, takes a little bit of time, but it will start to train your body to keep your larynx, your voice box more in a a uh, stable place. So as you're coming down, I'm thinking that I'm closing and going up on the lower notes, not continually going down to re try to reach him. Now I'm going to do it on the exercise so hopefully you can hear this. Here. Now, I really have to think about that because my whole problem was always falling back in my throat and, and, and pushing. So you may have to really concentrate and give yourself time to get this. But I'm telling you, over time, it'll make a big difference. The surprising thing that will happen as you master this, you will start to discover that you're able to sing your higher notes a lot easier as well. So that's the first thing to do. Now, the next exercise, or the third tip that I'm going to give you, is getting these swallowing muscles to release or relax a lot more so you're not straining. Now, what you're going to do is this really incredibly ugly exercise, and nay, 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 you've probably seen me do it before, where you have your thumbs on here, nay, 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 that's all you're going to do, just, just try to get this, and again, because you've practiced doing closing the lower notes on the lip trill already you will start to feel or hear that you will naturally start to do that on this one as well that's what starts to happen you will develop certain techniques and you will carry it over to other things so you know you'll do that even in songs as well but let me um just kind of show you this one nay 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 now what I'm doing there intentionally before the higher notes, nay nay nay, I'm realizing I gotta let go and I wanna push into it. Nay 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 nay. I'm letting go and coming down. Then my chords are able to come together, get a nice clean sound, and I'm not wrecking or destroying my voice. So let me do a little bit more so you can hear it. Nay 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 
nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay nay now as you're going along and you'll go higher and if you start to feel yourself struggling or the muscles come down just stop don't keep going because then you'll start to cause more problems and you'll be reinforcing bad habits which we want to get rid of okay so now the third thing i'm going to give you and this is going to help you in a lot of different ways it's going to help you develop your power your breathing control and all of that so what you're going to think is that every time you're starting to sing, I'm going to give you, uh, let's, let's, let's make it a little challenging for you. I'm going to give you an ah sound. I say that it's challenging because that ah sound, oh, you kind of want to do that and fall back in your throat or go out wide as I call it. But anyway, just understand this is a little more difficult, difficult to control this sound. But as you master it, the other things that you're singing are going to feel much easier. I'll give you some very specifics on this. Okay, let me go to this exercise. Okay. I'll do it. Now I want you to hear what I'm doing here. I'm letting go of that highest note Let before I get there, closing a little bit and thinking down. Ah, I'm closing and going down. Now, I'm, I'm just kind of exaggerated there because I want you to sense that. But then what's going to start to happen, and you'll get a sense of this, you're going to feel how now you have much more access to your power. As I'm coming down, letting go of that highest note, and if I'm thinking I'm slightly pushing out of my stomach, my diaphragm, then I'm going to maintain a lot more of my air, number one. But then I'm also going to feel that I have a lot more power. Now, do not do this if you can't master the idea of pulling down first, okay? It may take you a while, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Ah, ah, I'm open. Ah, 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 ah. Now I could keep going and just really blast that out because when I'm thinking, I'm not pushing up into it, I'm maintaining the access to my airflow and I'm holding it out and having more power because I'm thinking I'm pushing my diaphragm out a tiny bit instead of clenching in and closing off and dispensing all of the air or available air that I could have. So again, these things, if you do them all the time, I'm telling you, and if you understand them and do them just this way, and if you attach the Roger Burnley <laughs> idea to them, you're going to have a really amazing voice. All right. I know this helped you a lot and just use it and be diligent with it and look out for the next video. All right. I'll see you guys soon.